I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is PsychAx, Better Living Through Psychology. And the subject of today's short talk is the empty canoe. This is a metaphor that I'm borrowing from Zen master Charlotte Joko Beck, who I believe wrote about this in her book, Everyday Zen, which is just full of straightforward brass tacks wisdom. I must have read that book over 20 years ago, and the metaphor has stayed with me through the present day. The story goes something like this. Imagine that you're in a canoe, paddling along on a serene lake on a particularly foggy day. You can barely see five feet in front of you. Suddenly, another canoe emerges out of the fog on a collision course with yours. You don't have time to respond, and the second canoe knocks into yours, almost spilling you into the lake. Once you recover from the initial shock, you react with anger, shouting at the other paddler, Hey, watch where you're going! What are you doing? Are you trying to kill us both? What's wrong with you? However, once the canoe drifts a little closer through the fog, you realize, to your surprise, that there's no one in it. It's an empty canoe, drifting mysteriously through the fog. And just like that, your anger vanishes. There's no point in remaining angry at an inanimate object. It's wasted energy. And it generally shuts off fairly quickly at that point, regardless of your intentions, which is to say that it's actually kind of hard to stay angry at an, inanimate, at an inanimate object, even if you wanted to. And that's because the imputation of agency is actually a core component of the experience of anger in human beings. Remove the imputation of agency and the anger disappears. I like to remember this metaphor of the empty canoe when dealing with frustrating people in my everyday life. In these moments, it's sometimes helpful for me to think of these people as inanimate objects drifting through the fog. They don't really mean it, they're just particles caroming through an indifferent universe. They might speak and move and act, that's subjective reality, but any agency that I experience in them is actually my own projected psychology. It may or may not be true, and it may or may not be serving me in that moment. So I don't need to remain attached to that interpretation of reality. And when I drop the imputation of agency, the anger vanishes almost instantly. A profound lesson from Zen. If the world is empty, why fill it with the ingredients of our own frustration? What do you think? Feel free to drop a comment below. And if you'd like to schedule a consultation, you can reach me at psychaxpodcast at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.